I mean, I feel like this just really takes like 10 years off of my face. I'm basically in my mid-20s right now. Hi Vogue, this is Jessica Alba. Join me for my makeup no makeup look with very glowy skin. I have three kids. I travel a lot. I'm freaking tired. This is my go-to way to look fresh and hydrated. I like to start with a really good moisturizer. And my trick is I mix it with a glow primer. So before it totally blends in, I use this funny device. It looks a little questionable, but it really works. Have you ever gotten one of those massages where they like do like, you know, all the lymphatic, like, you know, all the things? You can do that. So I know I look a bit splotchy, but that just means that there's blood moving around in this space and that's what you want. I'm gonna go in with foundation now. Depending on the time of year, I sort of go between three different shades. You basically want it to go like from this down to your neck, like mid cheek down to your neck and kind of all like blend pretty nicely. It's blending. Even though I do have the coverage, it still feels light. I always love my skin to kind of glow and show through. I think the best tip for the makeup no makeup look is to choose tones and colors that aren't too far from your skin tones. This is my tone that I love. Where you would normally flush is where you want to put your blush. You kind of can smile at yourself and just put it right there on the apples of your cheeks. Now I'm gonna go in for brows. I like to start sort of mid-brow and then work my way out. And then if I need any filling in here, it's sort of like the last touch. I love an eyelash curler, like I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, look at that. That's just an eyelash curler right there. It did take a second though for me to get comfortable with using one. Now I'm pretty good at it. I can even do it at stop signs. I probably shouldn't be telling you that. All right, I'm gonna go in concealer, and I always go around my nose, and then sort of right here, looks like a fan. And I learned this trick from a makeup artist, which is to use your finger, because your finger is warm, just like sets it right into the skin. And I'll use a, a buffing brush to kind of buff those in. Mascara. I always use primer, and I like to just blink it gets the product all the way from the base of the lash to the ends. I remember when I was younger, watching my mom put on her mascara. My mom was like the full face of makeup, taking me to school in the morning. I sort of just let that dry for a little bit. So when trying to achieve the makeup no makeup look, it's important to contour in the areas where you would normally have some type of, of shape to your face. I'm gonna get a fluffy brush, bronzer. Going under my chin first. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did ya? And then right here, my cheekbones along my hairline. And swipe on my eyelid. And I'm gonna get a smaller fluffy brush. Just to sculpt the nose without it being like so dramatic. And then going in to the eyelid as well. All right, now that the primer has set, we can put on the mascara. Mascara is the most important because at the end of the day, when you're talking to people, people are looking at your eyes. So I think this is where you should spend a good amount of time, even if you don't spend too much time on anything else. There we go. Sometimes when you're wearing concealer and foundation and all the things, it can get a little bit cakey under the eye. I like to go in with balm right under the eye in the crease and buff that out. And then another little trick is go in with a beauty blender where you don't necessarily need heavy coverage. So I'll go in where I have freckles or up here at the tops of my cheekbones. Get your skin to pop through. All right, almost completely done. Trying to find a lip color for the makeup no makeup look, I really just wanted to be like a slightly more even version of your own lip color. And you don't need to like be aggressive with it. Doing that like full on lip is not what you're going for. And then pop a little bit lighter color on the inside, just like right here. And then at the top of the Cupid's bow. Yeah. Now you're probably thinking, Girl, you look shiny. I would go in with primer because I find that the primer is 
a little bit more subtle than like a straight up powder. And just where I want to matte out, that's where I'm gonna go in right there. All right, there you have it. That's my makeup, no makeup look. Hi Vogue, this is Jessica Alba. For more beauty videos, subscribe here, right there.